how that goes. Um, uh, Omas. Omas, I'm telling you. Omas. Yo, <laughs> stop bringing up this man. <laughs> I, already gave, I already gave you the circumstances for Omas's return. <laughs> <laughs> So that's all it's great. He had a great, had a great ten minute match at WrestleMania. That's all I'm saying. There's progress there, guys. We're about to see a future champion. No. <laughs> yeah. I always say that because he didn't get drafted. <laughs> <laughs> Damn man, you guys can't keep killing Omos, man. Uh but what hey, you get into the he's killing there? himself. <laughs> hey, 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 he just got married, okay? <laughs> that's why he's away. He just got married, all right? Jesus. He's gonna come back, he's gonna come back with a vengeance, all right. Um, we can get into the women's titles match. Uh, of course, Bianca Belair versus um, Asuka for the, the world, wait, the WWE Women's Championship. And of course, as Brian has predicted since last week, <laughs> that these matches are possibly just going to end in uh, disqualifications, um, yeah. messy, messy endings. Um, of course, we had uh, EO trying to cash in again, Charlotte Flair playing interference. Whole chaotic battle breaking out. Uh, Oscar basically walking away, still with the champion, of course, winning by DQ. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Especially all the involvement of Bianca, Charlotte, EO, Bailey, and how that's playing out. I, I'm, I don't know. There's a lot of factors here now, so it's like, I do you just do the triple threat with EO in the corner, like you know, still. Thinking about around. cashing in, or yeah, um, or do you have Bailey screw EO in the cash in, and then? Um, I think I think as I said, I think they're just going to keep playing it up. They should do the triple threat for SummerSlam because I think that's a big money match. Um, mm-hmm. Charlotte Flair recently posted that she's five and zero at SummerSlam, which is impressive. So we'll see how that holds up if that's going to hold up there. Um, and especially if EO comes in and cashes in at some point, like that's something that as they have been teasing, she's been trying to do, of course, her and Bailey have been failing. Um, but I think it's going to be interesting. I think they should do a triple threat match at SummerSlam and that's what it should be. They're just taking a long time to get there. <laughs> yeah. That, that's, that's the only thing. And um, as far as uh Bailey and um, EO goes, I guess apparently now they're, they're feuding with Shotzi. Was on Raw, I mean, on, on SmackDown. I mean, they did. Chauncey came out with a video of her, her holding her hair that uh, Bailey had cut, and then now she she's she's gone crazy now because now she's shaving off her own hair, mm-hmm. and so so now <laughs> so now they gave her the mankind character. <laughs> <laughs> so now so so now there there's Bailey's feud. Uh, so I mean, this is definitely going to be a very very interesting. I I agree that they. they they should definitely go with the uh, the triple threat match. That is it is a money match. Um, I mean, you could definitely see by the by all of these um, non non finishes for the first few weeks. That that's definitely where where it's going. Mm-hmm. Um, probably triple threat match, and then probably Oscar escapes, and then and then maybe here comes EO. That would mm-hmm. be that would definitely be something that, something to see. Uh, but um, yeah, this is very this is going to be very interesting. I'm just wondering, honestly, when we're gonna get finally Bianca and Charlotte one on one. We all know that that's coming. hell. That might that may even be on SmackDown in the coming weeks. Honestly. I've been asking, I've been asking for that match yeah. for years, and even when she went down to NXT, I was like, they're keeping the, these two women apart for something, something yeah. big. Maybe that's WrestleMania 40 or some capacity. That's where that's where it needs to happen. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know if they're gonna like, wait that long. I don't mind if it happens before that, but if they're gonna WrestleMania 40, it should be Bianca versus Charlotte Flair. Mm. <laughs> that's what it should be. Mm-hmm. That's what it should be, man. That's what they definitely need to do at that. It's crazy to think that they haven't gone against each other yet. Like, and it's like, why not? Like, those are the, like that's the match that they definitely need to have. Like that Bianca versus Rhea. Okay. I just think, I just think the timing wasn't right for it. Now, now the t- but the timing yeah, is yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Especially Charlotte. Was, yeah, it was just the timing. Charlotte's getting a little older, you know. Yeah, like disappearing, like like she'll be around for like three months, then disappear. Yeah, for, yeah. So yeah. Like she's yeah. probably she's married to, she's probably or to do something that's like yeah. movies, anything like that. She's mm-hmm. probably trying to do at this point in time. But yeah, like before she leaves, <laughs> we need to see that match there. So um. Mm-hmm. um yeah, so definitely that's it there. Um, but that will do it. I don't know if you guys have anything else you guys want to bring up there. Um, All right, so 
Okay, so I just have just one one, la- one last question in regards to uh, a- AEW. Mm-hmm. Um, so in gra- regards to the show last night, based on everything that you guys saw, what was the what would you guys feel was the highlight of the night? Uh, definitely for me, the dance off. <laughs> now, now, obviously, blood and guts to see that chaotic and you know counting down and seeing people coming. Uh, that was pretty dope. So I think Blood and Guts obviously was it, it, it was what it was like entertaining and highlights and all the blo- all the blood and gore that you think of Blood and Guts and what an AEW match that has that type of stipulation in it. Uh, the entrances, having everybody sing the song, like just being there was dope. I, mm-hmm. I feel like that was the highlight for me, like just being around wrestling fans. Um, yeah, that was it for me. Like that, just being there was it for me. Mm-hmm. For me, it was definitely just singing Judas with the crowd. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I can I can cross that off my bucket list. Um, <laughs> nah, that was no, pretty um, dope. <laughs> that yeah. was pretty dope. Like, um, that was pretty dope. Yeah, because I think I don't know. Probably from my goat bracket, Jericho is definitely one of my. I don't know if he was on my Mount Rushmore, but I'm definitely a huge Chris Jericho fan at this point, and. And also Daniel Garcia just fucking doing his. <laughs> no, but, no, but um, like, although, like you've seen, like we've seen a lot of these guys, like since we're kids, like Chris Jericho's yeah. up in age, like we saw Chris Jericho, we saw fucking uh, uh, Cesaro, Claudio, Claudio, right now. We saw fucking John Moxley. We saw fucking Jeff Jarrett, <laughs> <laughs> Matt Hardy. Like we've seen yeah, all these guys yeah. that grown up watching, and it's like, yo, like we've seen these guys and seen them in ring. I will say this about it. Like, the thing that was different was the sound, of course. Um, that was one yeah. of my things. Like, yo, like, you think all the slaps and stuff like that, like, all the stuff you hear on TV, it's completely different in person. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, I was shocked about that. I was like, I thought they would have turned the mics up. They did for uh, Rampage. They did what they with the sound. But it's like, during Blood and Guts, I was like, I thought there would have been a lot more, like, boom, boom. You would have heard it a little bit more, but that was one thing different in person. I'm like, yo, like, kind of quiet. <laughs> like, like, that was the one big thing, like, all the slaps and stuff like that. It wasn't as profound on TV as in person. So it was definitely different. That was one thing that was different. The sound was definitely yeah. different. But no, yeah. it was also-, I'm also just hearing, yeah, hearing everybody talk about wrestling. Like, I heard some dudes talking about, like, it's like, oh, I, I've, I've seen, um, they were talking about, I think they, they went to the uh, NXT TakeOver and they saw, Adam Cole, I forget against who, and he was like, it was probably one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. Or like, mm-hmm. was talking about like some dude kept a couple of people actually because I was wearing my Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero shirt, and everybody was just like, great shirt, great shirt, and I was like, <laughs> it's the only good one I have right now. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing I didn't do. Uh, um, I'm gonna pro wrestling tees and buy a shirt. <laughs> I'll buy an AEW wrestling yeah. shirt. I, I I got actually I actually. Um, I think they got it off the um the WWE shop because it only twenty five percent off. Oh, okay. But I all love that that cover. Yeah, that shirt is like like got no, that shirt's dope. Yeah, that shirt's dope. <laughs> like that's yeah. that's a classic shirt. Mm-hmm. But now nah, there's a lot of NWO shirts. <laughs> like oh. dudes wearing NWO shirts and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, like, like, Adam Cole. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, there was a person uh, when we were getting drinks. There was a person with the elite shirt on, and then a person with a black, uh, black, uh, mm-hmm. black cool combat club shirt on. He was like, "Yo, we're we're against each other right now." <laughs> <Just, laughs> kind of dope, like <laughs> the, 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 the lines crossed there, like people yeah. Were, like yeah, seeing all that there. Uh, yeah, but it was just dope to be around wrestling, <laughs> like in that capacity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. But yeah, that I think that we'll wrap it up here for this one, guys. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, all you guys listening, checking out the videos online. That's been awesome. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, and until next time. All right. Everyone.